Well, hello. This is the second time I filled the, filmed this uh, review because I forgot to turn on my microphone the first time. I'm going to review today the Conklin Duragraph. Now this pen has been out for a while, and apparently it's a recreation of a pen that has been out for a while, actually. Uh, but I've had it for a few months, and I finally decided to get around filming a review. Now, I like this pen. It has a nice finish, uh, sort of translucent, but not really, if that makes any sense. It has gold, or uh, black doohickeys in it that kind of have some depth and show the depth of the finish. So that's really neat. Nice two-tone gold uh, stainless steel nib has some gold on it, the Conklin label. It's friction fit, bonus. About the appearance, kind of like the classy, you know, it's a flat top pen. Uh, the, the clip kind of looks like a noodler's clip. Uh, the converter is a screw-in converter, kind of interesting. It's, you know, I think a regular converter fits. Um, so, yeah. Just all around a nice pen. Now, what I like, uh, the nib is not a flex nib, but it has some flex to it, and you'll see that in my writing sample. Uh, the feed is kind of like some of the other Monteverde feeds, because uh, Conklin is made by the same people that make Monteverde. Now, I got the medium nib. There are, um, there's a fine nib, and there's a stub, uh, let's see, a 1.1 millimeter stub nib available also. And I'm just going to pause there and point out there's also a pen out there called the Conklin All-American, which came out a little bit later. Uh, the Conklin All-American apparently uses the same nib and feed, but it has a different design. Uh, at the moment, I'm not really excited about getting one of those. I, I just don't see enough difference to get one. But, yeah. But I really do like this pen a lot. Um, the writing's good. It's consistent. The pen feels good in my hand. I don't post. I suppose I could, but it's really long when I post it. Uh, I'm kind of uncomfortable then. The pen is really back heavy and, you know, eh. <laughs> so, uh, that said, we'll do a quick size comparison, and then we'll do a writing sample. So I always compare to a Noodler's Conrad, and I think you'll see capped. They have a very similar clip, except the Conklin, there's no writing on the clip. And as far as length goes... About the same. Uh, uncapped. We'll give uh, an advantage of about a quarter inch to the Conrad. Posted. Uh, we'll give about a three quarter of an inch um, advantage to the Conklin. I think that's too long, but then I don't post pens anyway, so I guess I don't really care. <laughs> So, all in all, a good pen, I think an excellent value for the money. Seriously. Uh, this is a really high quality pen and you're getting it for a really reasonable price. So definitely one well worth having. It looks much better than its price would suggest and it writes better than its price would suggest. So, uh, on that note, we'll flip over to the writing sample. I couldn't do my writing sample with the Conklin Duragraph with an ink called Deatrementis Patchouli, which I may be pronouncing incorrectly. It's a sample that I purchased from Goulet Pens. Uh, I like the color. I really like the scent. I'm not normally that impressed by scented inks, but just lately I've been trying out a lot of them. So anyway, I really like it in a lot of ways. So uh, writing with the uh, Conklin Duragraph, this is a sort of flex nib. I don't think it's marketed as one. I have the fine. Or no, I'm sorry, I have the medium. I'll put an M here. Uh, as you can see, some line variation. Uh, this is a very smooth writing pen. I was very impressed with that. I was very impressed with, uh, it has just enough feedback, so that feels right. I like the way it looks with that uh, moon-shaped breather hole. I like the weight of the pen. The pen is just the right size. It's just a nice pen. One of my favorites? Maybe not, but I like it. So I'll do my quote. So all in all, a fun pen, a nice looking pen, 
a pen that I uh, enjoy using. I often correct tests with it. I uh, do some fun writing with it. Obviously, I must be doing something fun with this color. A few of my pen pals are actually getting notes written in this color. Just all in all, nice. So, uncover the writing sample here. So, all in all, I, uh, I would buy this pen again. And at this price point, you, you get quite a nice pen. So, thank you for watching. And we'll see you later.